So how'd they look after a, a week or so off? <laughs> oh, they look fine. You know, obviously, you know, we got a long way to go. And, uh, you know, so I expect we're going to continue to get better. We'll be in pads on Thursday and get after a little bit. But we kind of shook some of the rust off yesterday in the weight room. And, and uh, as far as conditioning, I, I think they did a nice job in their week off of staying in shape and working so we didn't have to start from square one again. Is there any particular emphasis uh, in this week in, in practice? As far as there's just... No, not really. Um, you know, we will we'll have Thursday be in pads and Saturday be in pads. And, um, every, every day there, there's emphasis on a lot of different things that we're doing. Uh, you know, red zone stuff will start going in. We haven't spent a lot of time with that yet, and that will start going in on Thursday. A bit more so we're ready for Saturday. I saw Hagen got thrown out to get popped a little bit. Hey, good enough. <laughs> Anybody jumping out at you after a couple weeks of this? Uh, yeah, there's there's a few people actually. You know, I, uh, really pleased with the D line. The D line's playing really well. Richard Rogers is doing playing great at tight end. You know, it's really nice to see him coming on. Some of the young linebackers, uh, Jason Gibson had a good day today. Uh, you know, so I, there's quite a few guys. Avery, Sebastian, uh, he's finally healthy. He's been hampered a little bit with a hamstring, but he's he's moving around well now and making plays. And so that's nice to see. Is there a chance that uh, Kalen Fay comes back at all? We saw some stuff on some Twitter. No. What's the status of Kovan Dabowski Johnson? Is Kovan is not with us. Yeah. What, what's going on there? Is he transferring? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he and, will transfer. Yeah. And you know why? Just not playing. Yeah, or? Just an opportunity to play. Mm -hmm. he he's graduating this semester. And, he is. And so, uh, you know, he's obviously a senior and right. you know to get on the field a little bit more has he said where he's going to go or do you know he hasn't i i have <clears> some idea but i don't know for sure so i don't want to say you know, that's something where you try sure. to help him out with well, that sure. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah absolutely would that be one of those one-year deals like uh <coughs> yes russell wilson at wisconsin gets one year yeah, yeah. because he's graduated yes right talk about uh how your quarterbacks are looking uh good it, um I think, uh, you know, today, you know, seven on seven, they threw the ball pretty well, really accurate, so that was nice. Uh, you know, team drills, today we we didn't protect the passer very well today, so we have to we have to make sure we're getting better at pass protection. Uh, but we're playing a lot of guys, too, up front. There's a lot of offensive linemen rotating through, and so there's a lot of guys in there that, you know, sometimes they're not just physical, but mental mistakes. And those are the type of things that's going to happen when you're <coughs> When you're playing with new offensive linemen, it's going to take them a little bit longer than the defensive line. What do you anticipate um, being the other receiver uh, along with uh, Keenan? Oh, it could be a, a host of any. Including a freshman, I presume. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to, there's going to be a few, couple or a few freshmen that are going to, that are going to play. You know, so it's uh, you know, so we'll see. You know, we won't know our receiving core until we get closer to the opening, opening game. Who's been the one center with, with Dom only going to be in there part with part time? Swinky's been playing center. You talk about Bridgeford hasn't gotten second team reps until now. Um, how's he? What's he showing you? What's he doing well? And how's that benefit him getting that? Well, actually, he's had a few. He's had a couple days of first team reps. Right. You know, and so he's. Uh, he's taken a lot of reps so far uh, this spring. What are you seeing from him? Uh, really consistent. Mm -hmm. Really consistent, really knowledgeable, really good control of what's going on. And, uh, were there certain things you were you needed to see from him to be comfortable with him as your number two? No, I'm comfortable with him. Mm -hmm. He's healthy, right. you know, finally. And so, you know, throwing the ball very accurately. And, you know, very, very, very smart and understands what we're doing. You know, so I feel really confident that you know he would be really comfortable with him on the field for us. Hinder and Bain have not played in the game yet, I know. And is it hard to gauge a guy until you've actually seen him in game, or, or do you? Well, we have to see a little bit what they do through spring. Mm -hmm. You know, through some of the live uh, scrimmage situations and things like that. You know, and teamwork uh, to see 
you know, and there's a lot to evaluate the quarterback position, obviously, not just physical, but right. mental and the leadership part and how they manage the clock and so on and so forth. There's a lot there for young guys to, to manage. Right. I expect the from uh, Maurice Harris. Uh, Could he be in that mix as you talked earlier? <coughs> yeah, we expect that, that he will. Yeah, what do you like about him? Well, he's got probably the best hands on the team. And, and so uh, his thing right now is just experience. He's got he's got a really good body, good frame, good range. Catches the ball very, very well. So now it's just about trying to get him as many reps as we can yeah. to, earn, to gain experience. Is anybody emerging from the inside linebacker position with someone who can call the signals and be charged? Well, it's a group in there right now. Uh, some guys who have kind of stood out so far would be Nick Forbes. Uh, Gibson's in there. He's doing a nice job. Uh, we moved Wilkerson back inside, but Wilkerson's been hurt and, and hasn't really been here much. Uh, you know, just with odds and ends, you know, type of thing. Nothing serious, but just not not here. And so uh, it'd be nice to get him back in there. So hopefully he's back soon. The, thing is the injuries just kind of more the hole as opposed to just each of the little ones just the ball together. For him? Yeah. No, it's just it's just one thing or another. You know, it's just whether he's just really sick or. You know, so on and so forth. It's, it's you know nothing major. He'll, you know, I expect that he'll be back on Thursday. How, how many times have you had a guy come in early, like the two freshmen you have, come in midstream? Is that a novelty for you? No, we've had we've had uh, we've had it quite a few times. Uh -huh. Um, how's Klein? No more than two ever. Yeah. How's Klein yeah. adjusting to? Really well. Yeah. Really well. What, what do you like that you're seeing from him? Everything. Not only, I imagine there's a lot to gauge besides just the football, just adjusting to being in college and yeah. being I, such a young guy with older guys. Really impressed with him. Uh -huh. Really impressed with him. He's got a good sense of humor. He's a really good leader for a young guy to jump in the huddle and, you know, have a little presence about him and things like that. He, You can tell he carries a lot of confidence. How are the older guys responding to really him? Really well, yeah. really well. I mean, anytime there's a new guy like that, you know, they catch a little bit of flack here and there, but he, he takes it really well. Right. And, uh, you know, he's he's a student of the game. He's very bright. Uh, really works at it, uh, mentally and physically. But he doesn't bring a big time attitude that gets him in trouble with older guys or not anything. at all. Yeah. Not at all. He's he's very he's very calm. He's very respectful of. The, the investment that the older guys have made right. understands he's got a long way to go. So he's a, he's a quality player. You know he's going to be he's going to be a great player before it's all said and done. You spoke with him, and recruited him, and all that for That's two years fun. and got to know him really well. Is, is it is it surprising to you that he's done as well as he has both on and off the field? No, it's it's not surprising. I, you know, I've always thought Zach was, you know, you never know till they make the adjustment. You know, first time leaving home, no matter how well you think you know him, when someone leaves home, but he's not that far from home. So his sister is just in the city. <laughs> yeah, and yeah mom's home. right there. So, you know, he's, I think that's really made the transition pretty easy for him because he's not far, far away. But he's a very likable guy. You know, the, the, the rest of the team really respect him. And uh, so they take good care of him. How's he picking up the offense? Really well, really well. As, as, as quick as anyone as a freshman at this point through a spring ball, you know, he's picked it up as well as anyone ever has. Uh, you know, and I think he's just going to continue to grow and it's going to go pretty quickly for him because he is a student of the game and he works really hard at it. Zach Maynard was back at practice today. I know he missed a couple for some academic stuff. How's he doing? How's he? Great. What are you seeing from him this spring? Great. You know, I mean, you, there's, you know, it's night and day from last spring. Yeah. Last spring, you know, it was kind of scratching your head and wondering, you know, what's going to happen here. You know, at this stage of the spring, last year, you know, it was really. You weren't sure what you had still? Exactly. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was just so new. You know, it was, right. new, it was a whole brand new offense to him. Um, but now he has great control of what's going on, seeing everything great, great command, great presence, you know, great composure. You know, you can really tell that he has. The, the year under his belt of experience has really helped. The, the confidence of knowing he's your guy, does that change the way he can approach practice and play? I think so. Yeah, even even though always at practice he's he's pretty he's pretty focused on what's going on. You know, so uh, the confidence piece comes I think with the rest of his teammates to be able to kinda pay a lot of attention to them as well. You know, this time last year he was 
you know, a little bit so worried about himself, you know, of trying to do the right things and say the snap count right and, oh, yeah, the 25-second clock and, you know, all that kind of stuff, that now I think he can – he's a real field general now. And I think he's, he really relates well with the rest of the team. Going back to Klein for a second, how has he been adjusting to the speed of the game? Because sometimes guys got to learn that, you know – He's still you adjusting. can't get away with the throws you make, make in high school. No, he, he's still adjusting. It's, it's, not, it's not so much the throws, it's all the stuff that's happening right here. You know, there's a lot of big bodies coming at you and they're moving really quickly. You know, it takes somebody pretty special when you're that young and people are that big and moving that fast to keep your eyes down the field. You know, and so that's a gift of being able, but he has really good pocket presence. He's hung in there really well. He slid in the pocket and kept his eyes downfield and threw some nice balls. So he has that. You know, he has that gift of being in the pocket. Typically, when eyes come down, it's either they don't know what they're looking for, or the game is happening too fast. And so, so far, what I've seen, there's sometimes he doesn't know what he's looking for, and that's understandable. But I haven't seen the game happen too fast for him. Sounds like we're good. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. Thanks,